we're playing every week eight game in Madden 25. So let's go ahead and get started. In Thursday night football, we have the Los Angeles Rams going up against the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings are just coming off a devastating upset, so I think they are going to win this here. But at halftime, the Rams are winning 14 to nothing. So drive down to get another touchdown. So the Rams end up blowing the Vikings out 21 to nothing. Next up, we have an AFC East division rivalry in the New York Jets versus the Patriots. The Jets need to get this win if they want to get back on track and somehow make it back into the playoffs. At halftime, they actually are winning with a score of 10 to 3. They just go down and score a touchdown, though. So it's a tied game. The score here, or it's going to overtime, but they do end up kicking a field goal to win 13 to 10. That was a very close game. The next game should be even better, and that is going to be the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Cincinnati Bengals. At halftime, the Eagles are winning 14 to 10. Bengals score a touchdown quick in the second half to go up 17 to 14. But then the Eagles score a touchdown and also a field goal, so they're up by seven points. The Bengals have 52 seconds left to drive downfield and get a touchdown in this game on overtime. More to go for two to win it. First play here, Joe Burrow throws it to the outside for about a 15 yard pass. Nice start. And throws it to about the 40 yard line for Jamar Chase. What a catch! And then breaks a tackle to get inside the 30 yard line. Looks around, throws it to, I don't even know who that is, but it's a completion inside the 18 seconds and countdown. 16, 15, 14. And Joe Burrow screaming out of the pocket and it just throws it out of the back of the end zone. Then on second and goal, he does the same exact thing. Takes a snap, looks, and throws it out of the back of the end zone again. Bro, what are you doing? So they have one more play. Need to score a touchdown here. The game is over. Joe Burrow does have his X Factor on. Let's see if that helps here. Throws it to the end zone, but it is picked Ooh. off, and the Eagles end up winning this game a 24 to 17. Had the Packers and Jaguars. I am expecting the Packers to win this because they're obviously the better team. And at halftime, they are 14 to 3. Jaguars go down and get a touchdown, but I guess they missed the extra point. And then they go down and score again. So they're actually winning now 15 to 14. And they win this game. How are you having like that good of a lead versus that bad of a team? And let them come back and win win the game by one point. Honestly, might be the most uh, surprising game we see today on this video. Next up, we do have the Titans in line. The Titans win this, so that would actually be more surprising, but it doesn't look like it because at halftime, the Lions are winning 21 to nothing. Then we have a boring game in the second half. Nobody ended up scoring, so they won 21 to nothing. We have the Falcons and Buccaneers, and this should have been a good game. But with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin being out, I'm pretty sure the Falcons are just going to blow them out. At halftime, the Falcons are winning, but it's only about three points, three to nothing. Buccaneers go down and score a touchdown, and they go down and get a field goal as well, so they're by seven. Falcons are driving downfield inside the 30 yard line and we have to hop in this game. But the Buccaneers defense are actually holding up because they have them on a third and three now and Kirk Cousins throws an Ooh. interception in the end zone. Bro, you had plenty of time left. Why did you take that shot right there? Just pick up the first down. The Buccaneers end up winning a 10 to three. So we have the Cardinals and Dolphins and this is going to be very interesting because Tua Tagovailoa is returning. At halftime, they are winning three to nothing and they get a touchdown late in the fourth quarter. So I doubt the Cardinals can come back from that and yeah, they can. They end up winning 10 to nothing. What's up with all these teams scoring zero points. Ravens versus Brown. Halftime, the Ravens are winning, but only by seven points, but then go down and score a touchdown. They're up 17-3, entering the two-minute warning, and that is going to be the final score as the Ravens win 17-3. We have the Texans and Colts entering the fourth quarter. The Texans are up 28-14, so the Colts can come back from this, but they're going to need to put some work in. Only down by seven points. Can they get a stop, though? And yes, they can, and they're driving down all the way inside the 10-yard line. We got to hop in this game. Three seconds left. Oh, never mind, though. The clock just ran out. I guess they had no timeouts. You should have just thrown it to the end zone, then I guess. This game is going to be Justin Herbert and the Chargers going up against the Saints. That's how the Chargers are winning 10-6. to The Saints do score a field goal, though, so they're only down by one point now, but then the Chargers go back and score a touchdown. The Saints do have the ball inside the 15-yard line here and do end up getting another touchdown. They're up by three points now, 16-13. to I highly doubt that this is going to be done, but maybe. You never know nowadays in the NFL. He just throws it out of bounds with two seconds left, so they need a Hail Mary now. Herbert drops back. Looks the pass, throws it deep downfield, but it only gets to about the 15-yard line and it's incomplete. So that is game. The Saints end up winning this 16 to 13. The Seahawks versus Bills. Because I know the Seahawks are kind of up and down at times, but they still have a pretty good team. And at halftime, they are actually winning here 14 to 10. Bills drop down and get a field goal. So they're only down by one point. Inside the two-minute warning, the Seahawks score again. So they're down by four points. Josh Allen needs to get this team a touchdown with 35 seconds left. Oh, the clock ran extremely down. This might be the final play. Three. And it is 2-1. Uh, it takes the snap. Okay, why did you throw it just for five yards, bro? That was the final play of the game. Are you not looking at the clock? We have two great rookie quarterbacks going up against each other. Commanders versus Bears. Caleb Williams versus Jaden Daniel. At halftime, the Commanders are winning 14-7. Bears go down and score a touchdown. So it's a tied game now. But they can't stop this Commanders offense. They score another one. But then the Bears score right back. They're going back and forth here. Commanders have the ball with about a minute left in the game. Right outside of field goal range. Let's see if they can end up pulling this one off. Jaden Daniels takes a snap. 
looks, throws it for about a 10 yard gain to the 30 yard line. Now they just hand it off, so it looks like they're gonna try to run some time out and just kick the field goal. And that's exactly what they do. The commander's kicker trots out here, kick is up, and it is good. So they're up by three points. They left Caleb Williams 35 seconds left. Let's see if the rookie quarterback can pull off an amazing comeback. Caleb Williams takes a snap and throws it deep, and they get all the way to the 35 yard line. They're already in field goal range. They want to get a touchdown here. He throws over the middle again, but they only get to the 10. Oh my God, and they're going to run out of time. Wait, no, Caleb Williams, why did you do that for? We have the Chiefs and the Raiders, and at half the time, the Raiders are actually winning here 10 to 7. The Chiefs do go down and score a field goal tie game, enter in the fourth quarter. Chiefs go down and score a touchdown. They get the ball back and then run the clock out, so they end up winning 17 to 10. Now we have our Sunday night football game Cowboys versus 49ers. At half time, the 49ers are winning 14 to 10, and then go down and score another touchdown, but then the Cowboys strike right back with one of their own, but then the 49ers are strike right back as well, so they're up by 12 points and then get a another one that's probably going to be game i don't see the cowboys coming back from that and yes it is it's the 49ers end up winning 35 to 16 now sadly we have our last game and that is going to be monday night football i don't know why this is a monday night football game but it is it's going to be giants versus steelers at time the giants are actually winning here 10 to 7 and this score a touchdown as well up by 10 points now Steelers go down and score a touchdown with only two minutes left in the game so they need a stop here and they do get that so we got to hop in this game now and see what happens they're right outside of field goal range now 27 seconds left he does throw it to a wide receiver they get at the 40 yard line last play here seven six they have to hurry up and get this off they do but he throws it and it's in bounds you got to get out of bounds there bro so they don't even get to tip the field goal and the giants end up winning this 17 to 14 we've actually done this every single week so far this season this was probably one of the crazier videos thanks for watching everybody i really hope you enjoy it don't forget to like comment subscribe and check out next time peace